retirement plan, but okay. then there's also the CAPERS 457. Oh, okay. Those things we got into back in the oh, 70s and 80s, man, when mutual funds were going crazy, made a ton of money in those things. Uh, they're not doing so well now. Mm -hmm. Now the foreign stuff seems to be. Yeah, but you're getting ready to lose your rear there. You could lose your rear. <laughs> That's uh, pretty risky when you don't have any control over it. And some of the foreign things, I watch the market a little bit. And some of those things just lose tremendous amounts of money overnight. Hello, Gordon. What are you carrying such a big bag for? You're not that smart. You got my life in there, man. You gotta your, carry it wherever I go. Your what? My life. Oh, nice. Nice. Why? <laughs> I thought you said lights, didn't you? <laughs> How's everybody? Good. Good. You doing all right, Josh? Yeah. Do you have another copy? I wasn't able to go home before I got had to come here. Well, yeah, we can get you one, I suppose. Oh, I, you know, I guess it's not necessary. I can pretty much. Well, what, what were you needing? Nothing. <laughs> Did you read it? Yes. Okay. This should be relatively free. It's it's kind of up to you guys how long you have a discussion. <laughs> I won't take very much time. So. Um, well, it's just to look at that sign, it kind of needs to be replaced. The, yeah, the one in the very middle needs to be replaced. Sure. Uh, the sign oh. up here, yeah. How long has that one been there? Hey. Forever. That's what I'm figuring. I mean, if it, it does. The 60s. Yeah, if it doesn't Just meet the requirements, it's going to be size. grandfathered yeah. in. Unless, unless it's not our business to put people out of business. Or, That's right. Carry six all what, what it can do? Yes. Um, anything that's over 50 years old mm -hmm. kind of gains its own historic uh, significance. significance kind of thing. Good. So that would be one direction. Type of sign doesn't really have an issue. Yes. It's well, the I'll it's tell you illumination, what. isn't it? Yeah. It's is the issue. I think that sign was there in the 50s. It might be that long ago. We took it down and had a plate on it that said 1953. Are you the owner of the property? I'm the owner of the Budweiser distributor. It's actually our sign. Oh, okay. So, my dad remembers it when he was in high school and that was the 60s. Uh-huh. So, I, I know I'll present later, but I've, the oldest photo I could find is 1974. Been around a while. Well, I used to go in there in the 50s and I think it was the same sign. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we haven't took it down since then. You can even see, I'll show you the new photo of it. It was faded down on the south side. It's the sign you can find. Does it protrude out or lay flat? Yeah, it's a flag style. Huh? I said that's not really an issue either. No, I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. One that uh, Cardinal put back in the Do you have any signs up that have been up the longer big, than that one? Um, we have a, you know, my grandpa started the company in 1949. Cool. So only four years after we started the company. So Great. Chances are, no, the best guess would maybe be out. We have a Budweiser sign out in Anthony, Kansas. Uh -huh. And that bar was open longer than our distributor. So I see. Cool. So, it's quite a so history. Been there a while, yeah. Great. Well, how big an area do you guys cover? Uh, we go all the way out to Medicine Lodge. So that's not a fun route. I did it last Thursday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a long day. How, how many stops do you have to make out there? Uh, 25 stops. Oh, gosh, that's a lot. Yeah, well, we hit. I'm trying to think. I get all the count. Attica, Medicine Lodge, mm -hmm. Sun City, Parker, Kiowa, they Sharon. Still they still got something open in Sun City? Buster's, same bar. It's the same <laughs> bar as it's always been. Huh. So. Well, that's went through several different changes, hasn't it? It has. I think, uh, really, it's just been in the last 15 years. I think the same person owned it forever. And then about late 90s, early 2000s, they sold it. And every two years, it has different owners. So 
That's in the middle of nowhere. That's 25 stops in one day. 25 stops in one day. That's like last, last Thursday we left at 5.30 a.m. We got back at 5.45. Yeah, that's hustling, man. Yeah, long day. Yeah. And hopefully not you. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> we always send two people out there because we try to get them. Yeah. That's a lot of work for one guy. It is. It is. So will you be doing the sign work? Um, we actually have uh -huh. That was made the same time this one was. Cool. It's basically the same sign. Okay. I think the only difference is instead of the white background, like you see in the photo, it's actually a yellow background, but it's the same Budweiser logo. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was yellow through time or if it was maybe that one was originally yellow and it was huh. faded into white. That's <laughs> I mean, we were very lucky we found this in storage. And no kidding. Behind some cabinets and stuff wow. like that. It's been hanging around all that time. Yeah, some old pictures that are internet, but way back in the turn of the century, or the last century, not this one. And, uh, Shoot, the last one was 16 years ago now. Well, I, I said not this, the last one, the one before. You got them, I sent them to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, it's kind of like really pretty cool. Especially, and I, I really like seeing some of the my great my grandfather great grandfather made the run I've got an interesting uh, recording that my auntie made when she was 103 recollecting when she was on a buckboard in the Cherokee strip run my grandfather said that's the funniest thing he'd ever saw in his life is that right okay. they went out and watched it uh-huh and uh, you know, in, in the movies yeah, he, and all, you I see a general go out and yeah. shoot a gun. Yeah, he said it was a lieutenant. Because, you know, they were stretched from here yeah. to the Colorado border. Yeah. Which is sad because and, uh, yeah. he said there were people <laughs> on horses, wagons, yeah, buckboards, bicycles, running. Yes. Just there, any, any, any means to get down there. Yeah. You stop and think, man, it was... 50 miles or so wide. Mm -hmm. That that Cherokee Strip was bigger than three of the northeastern states. I'm sorry. The Cherokee Strip was bigger than three of the northeastern states. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a huge land. Busy week. Huge land. Always too busy. Yeah. This was more so for you, I'm sure. Gene, how are you today? Okay, so far. Yeah. Until you got here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. Here's our leadership now. We're going to go. Oh. Good afternoon. Hello. How's the world treating you? Good. The world's not bad, just the people in it. <laughs> <laughs>
Just south of there. What's that clock like? He's an yeah, atomic clock. All right, we're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> the second end doesn't move. I've got five three. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and call me in order then. Uh, I assume you've already all seen the minutes from the last meeting? Yeah. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes for the last meeting? So moved. Second? I'll second it. All the people say aye. 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 Okay. New business, sir. That's you. Okay. <laughs> well, I, first of all, I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. I know this is not our typical meeting. I just hate to make somebody wait an entire month. Yeah. So, since we didn't have a meeting this month, let's go ahead and do it tonight. <clears throat> so tonight before you is a sign review uh, for a sign at 121 South Summit, which is the pool hall, period and billiards, whatever how you want to call it. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of read what we have here just so we all are on the same page. Guidance for appropriate new signs of commercial buildings and historic districts are found in the Secretary of Interior's standards for rehabilitation and guidelines for rehabilitating historic buildings at the mouthful. Storefronts as, as well as preservation number 25, the preservation of store signs. These guidelines state that using new illuminated signs, inappropriately scaled signs and logos, Signs that project over the sidewalk, unless they are a characteristic feature of the building, or other types of signs that obscure, damage, or destroy remaining character-defining features of the historic building is not recommended. So it's kind of a negative guideline, but that's that's basically what we're going off of. Uh, the proposed sign for the pool hall will replace a similar sign that was a box sign, and, and um, as far as I know, it was internally illuminated. Uh, the existing sign had to be taken down for painting, and was because it was in poor it was also in poor repair, so this one would replace it. But it's a very similar sign, from my understanding. The proposed sign is an internally illuminated box sign, um, but it's been in place for, the original one had been in place for many years. We just learned a little bit ago, 1953 is what we're thinking may have been the day it was put up. Um, staff recommends approval of, oh, let me back up for a second. The proposed sign, like I said, um, is an illuminated box sign, um, thought to be more than 50 years old. As you all know, uh, signage, or not signage, anything that's more than 50 years old can in and of itself be considered historically significant by just on its own. Um, so <coughs> that being said, staff would recommend approval of the sign, um, but not being met. Um, I just go briefly into signs that are compatible. Um, channel letters, with or without illumination. Neon signs, 
an interior illuminated shaped logo sign, reverse lit channel letters, non-illuminated signs that are compatible in size, scale, and placement, and any kind of decal or window sign. Signs that are not compatible would be interior illuminated plastic box sign, LED text signs, unless it's on a theater marquee, like what's on the Burford. Um, signs that are inappropriately extending across more than one storefront. Signs that obscure or damage character defining features and signs that are inappropriately scaled or too large for the building. So going through that list, um, this is, like I said, an internally illuminated box sign. Um, so that, that feature is not compatible. However, it is compatible in size, scale, placement. It, it's, it is definitely where it's supposed to be. It doesn't extend across multiple storefronts. It's just a flag sign. Um, and there was also that mention of the guidelines um, talking about um, not extending over the sidewalk. That's very common in our district, so that is not an issue either. Um, the flag type sign is actually very normal in our mm -hmm. district, so um, definitely acceptable. Um, and like I said, it is it appears to be appropriate. should have a couple of photos. Um, the sign company that they're working with it took some pictures of the photos back before they took it down. I think it was in April. There's no tr leaves on the trees, so it had to be fairly early in the spring. Uh, it kind of shows what the existing sign looks like. Um, the photos I've seen of the one they wanted to use is very similar. So, with that. So, um, um Am I correct? Uh, this was an illuminated, internally illuminated? Yes. Looks like it was. It's wired up at one time. At yeah. one time it was. Yeah. It was. Yes. Do you know if it was illuminated most recently? Um, the illumination hasn't worked for probably in 20 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, the floor hasn't been swept in 20 years. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think the floor has been open after dark in 20 years. <laughs> Uh, I'd just like to speak a little bit about what downtown Arc City is going to be, if it's ever going to be anything. Which, and I shared some of this the last time we met. And that is if, in fact, we're going to try to recreate downtown, there are some things that we can do simply because of the designation the city has, and you can stretch some of this stuff. And having kids who are in the food business in 125 different places, the importance of signage is huge and it seems to me that the idea of putting up a sign is to attract people to that spot the idea of illuminating it is to have people be able to see the miserable thing so i for one it's it's been wired before at some time it was illuminated and wasn't there some effort made to allow the guy who was in the leather shop to illuminate that sign after he put it up? That was, however, it had to be appealed. Mm -hmm. It was appealed to the city commission for final approval. But that, so it never went anywhere? No, it, the appeal it, was successful. It okay, was. so it could have been illuminated? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if they ever did it or not. But they, no, well, okay, and I don't know if they did it either. Uh, but I, for one, I would think that if replacing this old sign the only one thing you do to improve this whole thing, maybe cut that tree down mm -hmm. so you'd be able to see the sign. Uh, but nonetheless, I, I think it's a good idea to put the sign up, and I would like to see it illuminated. Well, I have to agree because I, it seems odd that this is considered non compatible, but if it's, this thing was put up in 1953 and illuminated, then it, it becomes an historic mm -hmm. sign. So if and so if it was illuminated to start with, I don't understand why it. Be. We'd have to it say, no, we can't it's illuminate it now. That's why we're here. Yeah, yeah so I don't that. understand that part. <laughs> it's 65 years old. As far as I'm old. concerned, if the owner wants to illuminate, he should be able to illuminate it because it's, that still falls within his story. Mm -hmm. I would agree with Jane. Jeez, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, huh? Yeah, not all that often. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Do you want a motion? We get this. Do you, you want to add anything to it? No, I have a photo from the 1970s, but that's really all I was going to add was try to help you show the historic of it. Okay. I talked earlier, there's a sign said 1953 on it when we took it down. Mm -hmm. And the one we're replacing with it is in the 
exact same sign except with a white background in the Budweiser and it's, it's yellow. But it was made at the same time we found it in storage, back behind some old cabinets and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it is an original sign. It's mm -hmm. not, we're not putting a new sign up with the old logo. It's an original sign. Mm -hmm. If we illuminate, illuminate it, we will have to change all the guts out because it's the ballast from 1960, 1950. Mm -hmm. right. So we have been told that. It would take a little, probably a little bit longer to get it ready to paint. So that's not even necessarily a No, it's, 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 well, when the notice came out on this, it said it was interested in getting this before Arkalala. If we can eliminate it, then no, we, well, it won't be up until after Arkalala, but we can still put it up. Well, you can, you can change the ballast out once it's up. That's true. Uh, uh, that's something I can work with Cardinal Sign. Yeah, I would think that if... Uh, it's not like the people that are coming back to town don't know where this haunt is. Yeah. They'll probably <laughs> sniff it out. Um, <laughs> literally. But... Uh, Anyway, I'd make a motion that you put, put up the new sign and illuminate it. Can we do that? Can we say we want this sign you know, with illumination? Because it says there, you know, an interior illuminated plastic box sign is incompatible. Are we going to, or does that? I would say if you're going to do that, make your part of your motion that you feel that it's gained its own historic significance. Okay. Being 65 years old. Yeah. Yeah. That we can document the age of the original sign. I would definitely include that. Consider it included. So I will second your motion. Okay. Okay. All those approved say aye. 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 Motion carries. Did you want to weigh in on that? No. I <laughs> Listen, anything you can do to perpetuate business, mm -hmm. do it. There's no sense. Digging right. your heels in and acting like a fool. Yeah. Especially yeah. something like that's been there a long, long time. Yep. Yeah. You didn't have anything to add, Paul? No, it's fine. <laughs> okay, is there any other business we need to have to look at? Or? Like I said, I plan to do the that survey grant thing, but right. that's working out to that point. Josh, um, going back to the meeting or two, did you say the middle school students were working on doing a historic, um, you know, uh, of the places in, in they town? Have done that. Actually, I, I, worked, I worked summer school last year. Yeah. Okay. And they did do that. Uh, I was telling my boy about it today. Uh, he yeah. gave us some of the kids a tour of the Burford. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them did a very good job with that. They got it set up where it's usually about a two-minute program. You can even uh, supposedly download it on your phone, and it, it'll have audio and video. And every time you go to a building, you can call it up, and it'll give you a brief cool. history of that building along with some historic photographs. What's the, what's the name of that app or whatever it is? I'll have to get it from Ann Hedrick at the middle school, I think. Uh, but yeah, some it's, of those were really well done. Yeah, this was all, this was with incoming sixth graders and seventh and eighth graders. Mm -hmm. And they had total, maybe 14 days total to work on this. So, you know, you can't expect a lot, but I thought some of them were very well done. Good. Well, the kids that we had at the Burford, that was their second year there. Yeah. So they had some initial information and yeah. then I think they did a, a really good job of it. I mm -hmm. think there's a whole lot more that can be done. Yeah, but then, this is the second year that we've done that. The first year yeah. we did that was a lot more simpler program because it was just basically they put together a, um, well, just a, I don't know what I'm trying to think of, but a PowerPoint. Most of them did like a PowerPoint presentation. Mm -hmm. This time they've actually put together a video program of the buildings. And so I think they'll, I don't know if they plan on doing that again next summer or not and then expanding on that yet, but. It, they, it's a great program because it gets the kids in it where they know their own city. So a lot of them never mm -hmm. even knew this town, never even knew downtown. Mm -hmm. Right. And so they got in touch with the downtown. They got a chance to see that this his, you know, there's a lot of history in this city. I thought it was great. What would be neat too is if we get our more formal, full survey done, mm -hmm. it would be easier for them to do projects like that. Absolutely. That's the problem. Because we were using the old one and. And of course, some of these kids found out that the old survey was mistaken on some of these buildings. 
Mm -hmm. Some of the dates they gave for the billion of billions, we on research we found out was wrong. Well, there's even some interesting notes on, on the pool hall. Uh, it, I was actually confused when I first read. I figured it out. They did. They, they built that all as one building, mm -hmm. but they split the building basically down the middle, and so now the south portion of it is actually in the Union State Bank complex, if you mm -hmm. want to call it that. And the north half is where the barbershop is. Yeah, the, the original was. bank was just that corner building, very narrow in character. The original yeah. was built in, what, 1882, was it? It's 83, something like that. It was the original bank building. building. This one was built in 1911. Yeah, that was the addition. Mm -hmm. Actually, it looks like there was a drive through that Yes, there was a, 1950s, there was a drive through mm -hmm. right there off the street. Yeah, I've seen that. Right in there. Yeah, right in the yes. Right, huh. exactly. So. Which I didn't even think they had drive throughs in the 1950s, but they sure had one. Yeah. And they redid it when they tore down the building behind them and then uh, right. they drive in here. Yeah. Which the funny thing is now they don't have a drive through. Yeah, now they don't <laughs> have a drive through at that point. Right. Yeah. <laughs> They're about the big bookstore around the country. You know, this downtown issue, I think we'll, hopefully we'll deal with it a great a great number of times. But we've, I've been, I've, what, 14 years in the Burford Theater, and I've heard so many people tell me that it's never going to get done, it ain't never going to happen, and all that kind of stuff. And so now it's up and operating. The, uh, the one on Sunday when the Sleeping Beauty, is that what was done? No. I, no, what was it? Uh, the doors. <laughs> Snow, Snow White. Snow White. No, I didn't go to it, so anyway. <laughs> yeah. I set it up. But okay, so I did Snow White, and you kind of wonder what you're going to do on a Sunday, and they turned up 254 or 248 people for that. Mm -hmm. Paid people. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's a. And we haven't gathered 250 people downtown for anything other than hanging for <laughs> ever, so I guess. I guess next week. Mark Wallace. Well, Arkalala, <laughs> yeah. Okay, the high holy days of Arkalala. That's yeah. what we're talking about. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. At any rate, uh, light her up and sell some beer. That sounds like an idea to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, if there's no other business we need to discuss, to adjourn. we can yeah. uh, I have a motion to adjourn. You do. Second? Sure. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. We're gone. Short and sweet. Good to see you, Jane.